hey guys welcome back to another video in this video i will be styling um two of my little cousin's hair um, make sure you guys like comment subscribe and of course don't forget to share all right when taking out braids twists any old hairstyle i would really really recommend you wetting the braids or twist first and then if you want you can um add conditioner for extra moisture and slip okay it is imperative for you to add moisture when taking down old some old twist braids whatever whatever it is okay because our hair is already dry and you don't want that brittleness you don't want any more breakage all right so i really suggest you adding water in your favorite conditioner that you're going to rinse out so right now i'll be using the um cream of nature conditioner so we're going to detangle her hair i feel as though it's easier to to use the conditioner first and then shampooing and then going in with a deep conditioner i find that easier only because um when washing the hair is already detangled and it's already like conditioned so yeah i don't know it just makes sense to me um so right now i'm just detangling her hair as you can see i'm very i'm being very gentle and the conditioner plays a big role in making her hair really soft and adding that nice slip that i need so make sure you just find a conditioner that is right for you all right so now we're with little Miss Mimi, her little sister, and um, her daddy didn't finish taking out her hair. Naughty, naughty. <laughs> this is where I step in. So we're going to repeat the same process for little Miss Mimi, and then you'll see the styles towards the end of the video. Make sure you stay tuned. So now I am back. It is Lexi's turn. Sorry for the poor lighting in advance. In the beginning, I was not using natural light. So yeah, it's, it, yeah, the lighting will be off. So sorry in advance. So right now I'll be doing, um, I'll be adding just rubber bands for her whole head using uh, the U part method. Um, we're just gonna do that style because as you can see, she cut her hair on the side. Um, don't ask me why I have no idea she was born and she just cut her hair on the side and on the back so as you can see that tapered area is a little cut as well I'm not I'm not sure why she did that but we will definitely try to grip that area and um, get it to grow back again and hopefully she won't cut her hair again so yeah
so right here i am just incorporating that part that she cut into the part that is longer i'm just putting that shorter part together just so it can um have that illusion that that part was not cut make sure the rubber band is not tight and yeah As you guys can see, I add the leave-in conditioner first and then I added the oil. I smoothed the leave-in conditioner into the hair and then I added the oil and then I add butter to the tips. Sometimes I sometimes I don't add the butter to the tips, but adding um, the butter to the tips kind of, for me, my logic is it kind of seals the ends. It, keep it, it keeps the ends very heavy and sealed. <laughs> so that's my logic. So, um... I'm down to my last twist. As you can see, I'm adding the the leave-in conditioner. I'm running it through the hair. And then I'm adding the oil. And then I'm going to run that through the hair as well, making sure all the strands are coated. All right. And then I will gently comb the hair from root to tip. Sometimes from tip to root because majority of the time the tip be like, it don't be that um, tangled or knotted or matted. I be having problems with the roots so I sometimes just kind of um, detangle it with my fingers first and then run the comb through it from root to end sometimes from ends to root so it, it just depends on the hair so right here I am applying the beads okay one of my subscribers asked me to do a slow-mo and this is a slow-mo okay this is the best way that I can show you I hope you get it but it's very 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 simple doesn't waste no time and uh, those beaters there that's life right there I'm running the hair into the hole and then I am crossing it over like as as so and then i'm just adding the rubber band to it see i'm just taking the rubber band twist then over twist then over twist it again then over twist it again you don't want to do it too 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 tight because the rubber band um eventually it'll pop so you just do it enough okay Thank you.
Here is just a quick little clip on how I put the beads into the beater. So I'm sure you are looking at the um, hairstyle and you're wondering why the beads are like in the middle of the twist. Well, I decided to just add all the beads in first and the main reason I put it in the middle of the twist is because I don't want the beads to fall. So eventually I will go back again and um, grabbing each bead and putting a rubber band to the tip. In order for her to sit still, I put her to work, okay? So she's going to be putting the beads into the beater and then she'll, she'll be passing them to me, okay? But unfortunately, she got tired of that real quick, <laughs> but she was a big help.
thank you guys for taking your time to watch these videos um make sure you like comment and subscribe and as always be blessed deuces